story, the third edition of India's Central Asia Dialogue, is underway in New Delhi. In the three-day event, leaders from five Central Asian nations will discuss ways to further strengthen ties, with particular focus on trade and connectivity cooperation. The Afghanistan crisis will no doubt be an important topic of discussion. Now, India's External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar is hosting the dialogue in New Delhi with foreign ministers of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyz Republic, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan in attendance. The ministers are also expected to pay a joint courtesy call on Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi after the crucial meeting on Sunday. The dialogue is taking place on the backdrop of India reaching out to the five countries for participation of their top leaders as chief guests at the upcoming Republic Day celebrations. Earlier today, Jay Shankar held diplomatic talks with Tajikistan's foreign minister, Sarojuddin Muharuddin, on the sidelines of the main event. Now, during the talks, the two leaders discussed issues of development of bilateral relations and stressed on the need to implement the agreements reached between the two countries on strengthening mutually beneficial cooperation. According to the Indian Foreign Ministry statement, Jay Shankar and Muridzin discussed the developments in Afghanistan. The Indian Foreign Minister also appreciated Tajikistan's participation in the regional security dialogue held in November earlier this year. The two sides have also signed agreements on diplomatic training and a program of cooperation. Earlier in the day, the Tajik Foreign Minister also paid his tributes to India's father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, at his memorial, Rajgat. Now, over the last few years, India has ramped up its engagement with Central Asian nations. India considers Central Asia as a part of its extended neighborhood. The dialogue is the second meeting organized by India after the 2020 virtual talks. Now, earlier this year, Foreign Minister Jay Shankar also visited the region a part of a three-nation tour to Central Asia to expand India's bilateral ties with the region. For more on uh, this story, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidan Sibyl, has sent us this report from New Delhi. The Indian and the Tajik foreign ministers met uh, earlier today in Delhi and key focus areas were on Afghanistan, on connectivity, on cooperation against the COVID crisis, uh, also on capacity building. Uh, we know that the Tajik foreign ministers here in Delhi not only to participate in the Central Asia India foreign ministers meeting, but also uh, on a bilateral uh, visit. Uh, we know when it comes to Afghanistan, Tajikistan has been very worried about since Taliban takeover, not only because Tajikistan shares a land border and there is worry over a spillover impact in Tajikistan, but also uh, there is a huge Tajik minority in Afghanistan that haven't been given representation by the Taliban government uh, uh, in uh, Kabul. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, uh, the Indian External Affairs Minister used this opportunity to thank Tajikistan uh, to provide uh, uh, the support uh, uh, during uh, the evacuation process that started uh, in uh, the month of August after Taliban takeover. Uh, we know that Indian Air Force planes had uh, made a stopover in Tajikistan and from Tajikistan uh, using Iranian airspace uh, uh, arrived in India. Uh, so essentially, important meeting that took place, uh, 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 we know that Tajikistan has joined India's initiative, the CDRI, and also two packs were signed. One, of course, was on training of uh, diplomats by India. Uh, so uh, we know that when it comes to this engagement between India and Tajikistan, it has been going. In fact, the Indian External Affairs Minister was in Tajikistan earlier this year as well. Sudhan Simple for Vion in New Delhi. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.